Hey guys, welcome to part 4 of volume. This time we're going to talk about the carrier mediated model and about Michaela Smitten. So let's get started. First, when we're talking about the carrier mediated model, we need to know a couple things about this before we can really understand it. Remember that this side over here is like the blood and this is the tissue. In this time, the drugs can't just easily cross over here using passive diffusion. This time, they have to use a little lock. We're going to call this the lock and key method. You have to have a lock that will carry the key or the drug across the blood, across to the tissue where it wants to be. And this can sometimes go against the concentra concentration gradient because you're not using passive diffusion. And this lock requires energy. Because it's exhausting to pick up a key and move it from the blood side to the tissue side. The other thing to remember is, with this lock here, it doesn't require just one specific drug. It can carry quite a few different drugs from one side to the other. And there are times where drugs will compete for this one lock. So think of it more like a broken old lock where as long as the key is semi-close fitting, it'll still unlock the door. And that's kind of what this is. So there has to be a capacity for the drug. The lock has to have some sort of capacity and one to be able to carry things on. There also has to be affinity. The lock and the key have to be kind of attracted to each other. Kind of like a guy and a girl, you know? They're like, oh, you know, good looking guy walks in, girl walks over, she, she's kind of attracted to him, wants to talk to him. That's exactly kind of like the lock and key method. You gotta have some sort of attraction so that drug is drawn to that mediator so it can carry it over to the other side. Now, this can go against the concentration. You could have a higher concentration over on the tissue side, and yet the lock will still carry different drugs over to this side. And like I said, it requires energy, because let's face it, it's exhausting. So this is the Michaela Smetton, and it kind of helps us explain that our little picture. First, we have the rate of the reaction, and this tells us how quickly we can transfer things from one side to the other get things to the side of the tissue where we need. Vmax is our capacity. With the capacity that tells us basically the number of locks. How many locks do we have? What is their capacity to carry as many drugs as possible over to the other side? Then we have our Km which is our affinity. Now the thing to remember about Km, Km is the concentration which half the locks are full. Alright? And so remember, if we have a lower Km, that equals a higher affinity. Just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. And then concentration is just the concentration of drug in the, drug in the body. Now, the Km, it's kind of vague. It's kind of hard to understand at times. So, sometimes just kind of think of it as women at a pro football game. Now the concentration there is very low. There's not a lot of women at a pro football game. Yet, somehow, their affinity for the bathroom is so big that we still have to wait in line. Even though there's less women there, a lot less women than men there, magically we still are always waiting in line to the bathroom because we have an affinity. We have an attraction to that bathroom. I don't know why. I guess we're just cursed that way. So we still have a lower number of people there, but we're all trying for the sites. So that's kind of how one way you can remember what KM stands for and how that relates back to affinity. Alright guys, that really kind of sums up what carrier mediated is. And again, this is just another one of the slides that we talked about earlier. So thus far, we've gotten through passive diffusion and carrier mediated, and we're on to blood flow site. So, sounds awesome! Can't wait to talk to you guys later. See ya!